So I'll show you this, just like a washing up sort of old bowl. Show you that's empty before we start. Turn this one this way. Move this over to catch any. I'll tidy this up a bit. Right, I've got plugged in. I've got over this bowl to catch anything. Now I'm going to just turn it for five or ten minutes, just as it is. No plastic on it, just to make sure everything's going to work. Let's try this. Oh, those blades have moved right over here. See that? The blades were central there. Now they moved over this way. So I think that's because there must be a biggish gap between the sort of the nut head, the 22 mm nut head and this connector. Right, I've put a piece of plastic basically in here, the shape of the hex head, and that's a lot like tighter on there, but it's free enough to turn, I can turn it by hand as you can see. Right, I'm going to get it, uh, well it's plugged in now, I'm going to try and spin it a bit and see what happens. Just a second, let me... Um, Seems a little bit like not totally in line there, but that's spun all right. Yep, and it's spinning the right direction, which is this way, which if you're looking from this direction is anti-clockwise. So I'm relying on this to push this bolt in because really you want a nut on that side which I haven't, well I, it's a previous print I made this wider and I haven't bothered printing out a new bolt for it. Right let's get some plastic on this, I'll put this on the front end of the video actually, it's actually seen if it shreds and that. Um, Get hold of this plastic. Right, I'm going to try this bit of plastic which has been shredded before. You can see the infill there. I think that's 35 30 percent, maybe info. Right, this drill I can uh, lock it on. There's a button mount here. If you look at my other video. Now this is going to be noisy so I probably won't be able to talk very much while this is going but we'll see how it goes. seems to be ripping that quite well. Uh, one problem there, there are bits flying off. So you want some safety gear on certainly. I've just noticed that this cutting disc here is rotating, well, the other ones are rotating on the uh, keyway. Obviously this has come off or broken part off the keyway this side and it's like jamming this one at the moment. So this is all plastic bolt sort of thing and 
plastic key wear. Just, I think they're all about loose now, but that was really chewing that quite well there. So the idea of a keyway is good, but using a plastic one, obviously no good. That's holding this bolt head here, which I was worried about because it's a small bolt, sped over a small, well spreading the faces over a small area of the plastic coupling here. Let's have a look. Yeah. And I aren't faking this. As I say, quite granular. Let's have a look underneath the um, I'll just to make sure it's unplugged. There we go, unplugged. So I'm pleased with that as a prototype and testing. Let's have a look under here now. Oh can't really uh, I can't really see anything major first ignition. So I was worried that this on the last iteration I did which just had bolts on and no keyway at all. It actually turned these nuts. Well I think I only had one nut on then. And it turned it so far that it was rubbing against the side here and actually melted the side with friction. But these don't look see that one's loose. What's the next one? Yep, that one's loose. That one's loose. There's only maybe this end one now. This one on this side that's gripping at all. Can I um uh, I'll just hold this, let's see. Yep. Have to be careful here because these are very sharp. I'm trying to show you that those will turn freely. I'm going to dismantle this and see what these washes are like in between now. So here's the connector. It's been rubbing against the edges, I think. See, there's a like padded out plate that's stuck in there. Here's the other side there. Uh, Three eighths it is U and F all for the chuck. Mm, was a little bit chewed to start off with. So there's the three eighths U and F board that just screws in this black and decker drill here. Let's get this apart and we'll see what's what. Well, before I totally dismantle it, I'll just show you the. Can you see that? Almost like wear on there. On some of the edges. I think 
think that's just on two edges. I want to show you with, without this board being long enough, this plastic board, PLA, I can't put a nut head on here. I can put a lock and nut on there normally, and that will stop that sliding backwards and forwards. So before I dismantle it, let's have a, have a look. Okay, get this undone. Well, I've took the four balls out. I don't think we'll see anything. Let's have a look at this edge in here. Not too bad. So, as I say, that's like a wear plate that you can unscrew off here. So that if it gets worn down, you just have to reprint that or what have you. See how loose that bolt is in that bearing there. This plastic one anyway. Right. by hand, well this one anyway, Be careful of these blades, might be a bit of loose like swarf almost in between the cutting blades here. So I'm expecting this plastic uh, key, key to be well and surely chewed up. That's what I expect. Let's get the let's get the key seat turned up this way. Take off this. Well, that looks okay there. A little bit chewing on that one. Oh, this one can turn very freely, so I expect it to be this one. I'll turn this wash around. Oh, that's in pretty good condition, that washer. Oh, this broken crack there. And this one, yep, it's been well and see how the key weighs. The sorry, the key's been just ripped to shreds here. Turn that wash around again, pretty good condition considering. Be careful here. It's been mashed up a bit, this key. Good cutting discs, obviously. See there. off if I can. I think the idea here of having a key is a good idea. I mean that's what these are built obviously built for. They've got keyways cut in these cutting discs. See the keyway there. And a key. And there's it should be rectangular. I mean, the bolt itself isn't too bad. I put a, a black line on here. That's not stretch marks. That's a felt tip mark I put on. I think to mark out where I want to put the key. A bit of plastic there. The plastic round here got underneath this Nord washer somehow. I mean that. The bolt, well, the plastic printed bolt doesn't look too bad, really. But the key, it should be rectangular. I'm gonna get in there. Uh, so it should be very square, but it's just chewed. The PLA in this case. Now obviously I could make, maybe make this slot wider on the next print. Um, but that's going to weaken the board. A any more cutting in, well, deeper groove or wider groove in here is going to weaken this, this PLA board. 
Well, that's it. That's what's given way the key. A lot of pressure on there. If I can get this sort of made into metal, steel or something, tool, steel, what have you, it may work. I don't have to see. That's given way uh, the 500 watt electric drill I've got. Mightn't be enough power, I don't know. Right, I'm going to leave it at that. So I think that's a bit off the key way, off the key, sorry. I think it's a bit that's been cut. I'll just show you the edge of this cutting block. So that's where the blade sort of bangs against the mill. I'll say there's some holes cut there, uh, drilled in, well, printed in here, and drilled out a bit if you want to put a metal plate on there. If ever this works. Which I'm very pleased with that. I'm promising to put a keyway on if I can get a keyway cut and a key seat cut, whatever you know. If the motor's powerful enough. 500 watt black and decker electric drill.